We've actually got to get going, though. Hey, I got one more question. Um, who's God's chosen people? Who's God's chosen people? Right, according to the Bible. So how do you know who are the right people to get with? Who's God's chosen people, according to the Bible? Can you say that a different way? I don't... I mean, God has the chosen people, doesn't he? So... Like, like who are the Israelites of today, then? Or his representatives? The Israelites? Right. Or do you believe they're done away with? Or do you believe that all of us mm -hmm. can be part What did you say? Of, yes. Can I go back on? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Israel. And, but he doesn't necessarily just pick the people that are going to be picked for salvation. Because I think that takes away our agency. If he says, you're never going to accept down there, I don't have no choice in doing that. So you don't believe he has a chosen people then? I think there are people that have been chosen to do things, but I don't think he only has picked people that'll receive that salvation. I but says that um, Israel is supposed to be a light to the Gentiles. Hmm? I mean, but says Israel is supposed to be a light to the Gentiles. Yeah. But Paul, you say that anybody could be an Israelite. Paul also preaches to the Gentiles. Right, because he, he was an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. Yeah. So who are the Israelites today then? You got me there. Oh, you don't know that? No. Oh, you never heard that before then? I just know that God works through everybody. Anyone who wants to follow, he's willing to work through. Right, but, but, but you do have a chosen people. But I know that Israel was scattered and that blood right. mixed because of that. So there's... But, but, but Romans 11 says blood, Israel's not done away with too. So. We don't think so either. Our church, we gather Israel. That's why we're out. Help people gather. I, I guys are gathering in Israel then? Yep. Well, well how would you identify who's Israel, who's not then? Bob, they have to be a Mormon to this be an Israel then? Or? This is a long rabbit hole on how we get what tribe we're from. But we oh, wait, well, you you're, you're part of the 12 Israel. tribes? You're part of the we 12 believe tribes? That gathering Israel is either uh -huh. your literal descendant from Israel or uh -huh. you're adopted into it. So Right, right. How, well, how, you tell, well, how you tell if you're like literally from Israel? Then? That's a, a long blood. story, man. Oh, you can't give me like a passage or something then? I can't quote scripture like that. I'm 19. I've been, been studying for very long. Well, how, how you going to teach people if you're not prepared then for these questions? I have to know everything to be able to teach people how to help people grow closer to God. Right, right. As a missionary, they give us basic doctrine that we teach. I'm not, my job isn't to know every fact. Okay, well, I'll help teaching. you guys out. Have you heard like um the... People that was brought here as slaves, those are God's chosen people, the true Israelites. The true Israelites? Yeah, the people that was brought here in slavery on slave ships. Mm. Did you know that that was in the Bible? No. All right, bring up um, Deuteronomy 28 from real quick. This is the last one I'll let you guys go. Last one. Right, right. Picking around here. Right. Deuteronomy. 28 verse 1. 28 verse 1. Right. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I ran into you guys. You guys seem pretty cool, man. Uh, okay, De Deuteronomy 28, right, verse, verse 1. 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, and observe, mm -hmm. and to do all his commandments, which I have commanded thee in this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Right, so he's talking to Israel. Go to verse 46. Jumped around a lot. Right. I mean, I mean like you said, you guys are busy. We're just giving me the quick edification because of verse 46 and they shall come <clears throat> sorry, sorry right and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever right so the curse of Deuteronomy 20 is to be on them for a sign and wonder and the seed forever now go to verse 49 we're we'll taking home 49 to 51 and the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from afar mm -hmm. from this end of the earth as swift as the e as the eagle, eagle flies. flies. Yeah, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Right, so um, he's talking about um, Esau that's going to come from afar to the other side of the world to um, capture people or bring them to the other side and go to verse 68. Me up from the this is prophecy about the translated slave trade a thousand years before it happened. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again mm -hmm. with ships by the way wherefore I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. Mm -hmm. There ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. No man shall buy you. Right now, were the Israelites brought back to Egypt again on slaves on ships? No, no, they weren't. Because Egypt, because you, you can walk to um, 
Egypt from Israel. So they talk about slave ships, and Egypt How means bondage according it? to the Bible. How long is it? A lot it? of people were in slavery. How long is it? But this is this is part. But but who went to slavery on ships besides the black men in America? How long? Five hundred. Every. every wait, so, a lot of people have been slaves. So well, 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 who who else was brought in the to slavery on ships? Yeah. Well, who, who else was brought on slavery on ships besides the black man and black woman? I mean, still to this day, there's still maybe it's not the same type of slavery, but there's. Still I know, but, but that but, but that specific passage used to be brought into Egypt again on ships. So who else fills out a passage and trade for bond men and bond women? Who else f fills in that passage? I. Kind of confused where you're going with this. Well, read that again. I'm 68, 28, 68. No, I know what it says, but where are you going with this? Well, who who else was brought in slavery on ships? I know what you're trying to get us to say. <laughs> I mean, but but does the Bible is the Bible true? Do you believe in the Bible? Yeah, we believe the Bible is. The well, how do you explain? God. I mean, who who else fills that prophecy then? There's a lot of people. What we just told you that fulfills that prophecy. For example, the Israelites were slaves in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Moses led them away. Right. Right. But we're talking about specifically who was brought into slavery on ships. What what other nation? There's a lot of nations that now is enslaved, but who is, but who else is brought in on ships? There's slavery that goes on in ships. Like in ships like like who like who like who? Know, like, a lot of people have been slaves. Slavery's been around. But they they was um, a long time. But they was brought over on ships. Yeah, like the Romans. They the Romans. Around. I don't know what. <laughs> are you trying to get me to say that? The African American is the only people that have been. I mean, they're they're, they're among they're, they're they're among them. Yeah, I mean, I'm because yeah, I, mean, I mean, you know, the Israelites were black, don't you? What? The Israelites were black according to the Bible. You know that, right? Sorry, what was that? The Israelites were black according to the Bible. You knew that, didn't you? Yeah, I don't see what that's. I mean, something that 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 um, minimize it to a certain people that that were the Israelites today then. So you think God's only picked people for salvation? I mean, I mean, um, I mean, anybody can be saved, but I mean, but He has a chosen people that's going to be the ministers to the other nations. Yeah. So y'all don't see that then? I told you what we believe, and I believe that He calls people. There's twelve tribes of Israel, mm -hmm. and that 12, 12 tribes, when they got scattered, their blood mixed. But but it's according to the Father's lineage. I mean. So you might mix with like different women of the nations, but you you are according to your father, Numbers one eighteen. So so the bloodline still intact. Man. Like it says Romans eleven, God has not cast away his people yet. Okay, so yes, then the bloodline will be intact, but mm -hmm. physically DNA wise, the DNA DNA doesn't just come from the man. Maybe your genealogy does, but that doesn't mean that it's still gonna stick same looks, same hair, same But you, you never heard that you are what your father is? You never heard that? I I've mean the, the father plants the seed. The woman doesn't uh, produce these, she only has, has the eggs. So, so you can yeah. have features that uh, look like the mom, but the but, father plants the seed. That gives, that's where you get your nationality, identity. But from. like to this day, we can do DNA studies mm -hmm. and we get half from the mom, half from the dad, and that mixes. Mm -hmm. So then we kind of make look like that. So if that happens for thousands of years, <laughs> don't you think that. Not the bloodline, I mean, we'll, we'll go by what we'll, genetics are going to But we'll go by according to the most high, not according to, um, to what the white man's science is. So it's according <laughs> to the father. It's close. When you get to the father, that's the big thing. All right, all right, we take care of that. Yeah, you should send me that, though. All right, do you guys have a fly or anything? Or? No, we don't. People thought we were salesmen, so we just text people info if they're good. But Okay, yeah, I'll send it to you.